The Dutch National Institute for Subatomic Physics, NICEF, carries out research in the field of particle and astroparticle physics. NICEF scientists and engineers work together on research into the smallest building blocks of matter and the forces that act between them. These minuscule particles are studied in collision processes using large particle accelerators as well as in interactions of high-energy cosmic particles with particles in the Earth's atmosphere or in seawater. NICEF's researchers hope to find answers to questions about the origin and structure of the universe. They also played a major role in the discovery of the Higgs particle concern. NICEF, with around 300 employees, is a partnership between FOM and four universities in Utrecht, Nijmegen and two in Amsterdam. So the easy part is we want to know what are the smallest constituents our universe is built of. Particles like the electron. The tough part is how does it work? Where did the universe come from? Big Bang, how does it end? How does anything in this room, in our country, in our world work? Interactions between particles. We have two ways to do these, uh, this physics. One is using accelerators, because we always need particles. And the more energetic you uh, beam up the particles, the more intense the collisions. And then by E is mc square, you open the door to discovering new particles with heavy masses, heavy m. The other way is you use particles from outer space, that we call astroparticle physics, and looks to be very promising. So those are the dual approaches NICAF pursues. We believe that during Big Bang there was an equal amount of matter and antimatter produced. So now we have a problem that antimatter disappeared and we would like to understand why and what exactly processes which are responsible for that. Well, Nikhev is an excellent place because it combined uh, scientists of uh, different profiles together like experimentalists, theorists, particle physics, astroparticle physicists, all together. So by working together you can get new ideas by talking about, not about only your specific research, but wider. It's very nice. Plus there are so many students and, uh, you know, different generation. It's fun. Most of my time I spend on Xenon 1 ton, and that's an experiment that will be built in Italy, in the Gran Sasso Underground Laboratory. To, uh, to detect dark matter. Here we have a team of engineers and technicians, and with this team we are currently designing parts of this experiment that will be built. There's nothing there yet. There's a big, uh, big underground cavern, and the whole experiment now is a plastic cross on the floor where the experiment will be built. So uh, we have to make drawings, design things, and make sure that what we are going to build, that is going to do what we wanted to do, detect dark matter.